So now we will see for in loop in JavaScript. So guys, basically the JavaScript for in statement loops through the properties of an object. And this we are going to check with the help of examples as well. So as you can see, this is the syntax of the for in loop. Basically, we have the for keyword and then inside the open and close parenthesis, we have the variable which we can define by using the let or the where keyword over here and then followed by the name of the variable that is key in this case, followed by the in keyword and the object that we want to loop through. So guys, basically this is the syntax of the for in loop basically the in keyword is within the parenthesis over here and then inside the open and close curly braces we have the lines of code to be executed so guys let us check this with the help of examples in vs code over here so simply we are going to create a new file so we will create for in loop dot js file over here so guys what we will do is simply we are going to define one simple object in this case so let us say we have the constant over here with the object name that is person so guys in this case we are are going to create the object with the key value pairs which means we are going to define certain properties of the person so we have the first name of the person defined as John over here then we have the last name property as well so let's say we have the value as Doe in this case and then let's say the age of this particular person that is John Doe is 21 over here so guys basically these are some of the properties that we have defined inside the object that is person in this case so guys simply we can use the for in loop in order to go through all the properties of the object over here so how do we use the for in loop so in this case simply when we type the for keyword over here as you can see we have the for in loop in this case that is being suggested by the vs code over here so guys simply we will select this particular emit abbreviation so as you can see certain lines of code are already provided to us by the vs code over here simply we are going to remove the content inside the for loop over here and then for this we are going to keep the key as same and then we are going to keep this key variable as same and then we are going to keep this constant that is key in this case followed by the in keyword and then instead of object we are supposed to have the object name that is person which is the custom object that we have defined so guys over here we have defined the person object now what is the content of the key in this case so let us check that as well simply inside the for loop over here we will have the console.log statement and then we will print this particular key so guys what exactly is happening over here is this particular person which is having multiple properties over here that is first name last name and then age so all those properties are getting assigned to this constant key over here one at a time so let us see what will be printed at the first instance when we print this particular key let me just save this file now and try running this code on the terminal we will use the node command over here followed by the name of the javascript file so as you can see we have the properties that is first name and then on the second execution when the control flow comes back over here inside the for loop then we have the second property that is last name and then followed by the age so guys in short what exactly we are getting over here is the left hand side which is the properties of the object we can also say that these are the keys of the object which we have defined over here now guys how do we get the value simply we can use the person object and the key that we have in order to get the value which is present on the right hand side of those properties so guys how do we do that so simply we are going to use the person object over here and then let us say we only want to display the first name of this object so what we will do is we will use the dot character followed by the property that is first name over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting the first name that is john in this case but we are getting this first name three times over here that's because we have three properties that is first name last name and age in this case and that is why the control flow is going inside this particular for loop three number of times so guys it depends on how many properties are present inside that particular object that many number of times the control flow will go inside the for loop so guys over here in order to print the other values that is last name and the age as well we need to provide the key over here so what we will do is we will remove this first name over here along with the dot character as well and similar to how we access the array numbers or the array elements we we are going to use the open and close square brackets this time and instead of providing the array index number we are going to provide this key which has all the properties of this particular object so guys in the first iteration we had seen that the key is first name and then in the second iteration it is last name followed by the age so all the properties will be used for this particular object and the right hand side that is the values of all the properties will be displayed over here let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so as you can see we are getting all the values that is right hand side of all these properties 
John Doe and then the age that is 21 years old. Now guys we also want to print the left hand side that is the properties over here for this particular object so that it becomes more sensible. So what we will do is we will also include the key while we are printing the message. So inside the string literal over here simply we are going to provide dollar symbol followed by the curly braces in this case and then we will provide the key in this case followed by equal to operator and then again we have the dollar symbol and then inside this we will use person with this particular key that is property of the object. Let me just save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal. So now as you can see it is more sensible. You can see that the first name it is equal to John then we have last name it is equal to Do and then we have the age it is equal to 21 and in this way you can easily use the foreign loop in JavaScript in order to go through all the properties of the object. Now guys apart from this you can also add another property over here so let us check that as well simply we are going to add the gender property in this case and the value is male over here so guys you don't have to make any changes inside this particular foreign loop because automatically all the properties will be assigned to this particular key over here and accordingly all the statements will be printed as key value pairs over here inside the foreign loop so let us check that as well when we save this file now and try running this code once again over here on the terminal so now as you can see we already already have first name last name and then age and the extra property that we had added just now that is gender it is equal to male is also getting printed over here so guys irrespective of the number of properties that are present inside this particular object or any other object when we use the foreign loop with that particular object then all the properties will be assigned to this particular key over here and then we can get the value for those properties by using this particular form this object name that is person followed by the key inside the open and close square brackets this time now guys apart from this it is very important to note that you should not be using the foreign loop for arrays as it might provide you inconsistent results without actually using the array index so guys we had seen previously how we can create and access the array element over here so as you can see this is the way that we define the array in this case and these are accessed by using the index number over here that is the first element is accessed by using the index number that is 0 followed by the index number that is 1 and so on the index numbers are used in order to access the array elements so we should not be using the foreign loop in order to go through the array elements as it might result in inconsistent result that's because basically the foreign loop is used in order to get the key value pairs instead of using the index number so guys in order to access the arrays you can simply use the for loop or the for of loop as well that we are going to check in the upcoming video as well and apart from that you can also use the for each method for the array so guys whenever you are having the objects and you want to go through the properties of those objects simply you can use the for in loop in order to get the properties in the form of key value pairs so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well i'll see you in the next video in which we are going to talk about for of loop in javascript so stay tuned